in Blender, we create our rigs through bones. And to create our armatures, we need to have many bones in our armature that are connected. The best way to do this is via extrusion. By extruding out of the joints of our bones, we can ensure that they are connected as two bones will be connected by the same joint. Let's have a look at this in Blender. So we've got our singular bone. If we want to extrude from this, can you guess what we have to do? Correct. If you guessed edit mode, that's exactly what we need to do. So now that we're in edit mode, we'll actually notice that just the top bit is lit up. So this top joint is lit up. That means that we can extrude from this point. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press 3 to go to a side view. And we don't need to worry about the arm because it's not actually going to get in the way. We're going to press E to extrude. And we're going to bring out another bone. Bring that up. And there we go. So if we zoom in, we can see that this joint is still the top part of this bone. But it's now the bottom part of this bone. And we can do this as many times as we want. So if I extrude again, one, one more for the neck and one more for the head. And there we go. We've got a nice, well, we've got a spine of sorts. This will need some editing because it's a little bit wonky. But there we go. Ah, we can see there as well. So make sure that I'm just going to grab these and just move them about a bit. Make sure that when you are creating and extruding bones that they're in the right place that you want them to be in. And also make sure that they're relatively suitable. So for example, this one won't be very good if I just leave it like that because the bone is clearly at an angle. And we create these rigged animations because our bones are in the correct positioning. So I'm going to undo them. And what I'm just going to do now is I'm going to press 3. I'm going to press E to extrude. And up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into object mode. I'm going to grab these and I'm just going to move them back. Because being the spine I think it's better if they're at the back. Next I'm going to go back into edit mode. Make sure that I'm in a 2D view. Because the problem with last time was I went out of my 2D view and my bones went everywhere. I'm going to keep these straight by locking them onto axes. So I'm going to press E, then Z. E, then Z. E, then Z. And there we go. It's a good idea to keep your armature as straight as possible to begin with and then grab individual parts and move them around to suit your needs. As you can see, in the same way that a mesh will move non-selected parts, so will bones. So there we go. That is how we can create armatures through extrusion.